presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate the growl and problem with us here. Now. Tom O'Brien. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, a safe day. It's making it a great week out there, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 57, Nasdaq's up 93, S&P's up 11 and a half. Gold. Gold contract down $6.90, trading at 1939 an ounce. We have silver off 12 cents, $22.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 71 cents, $82.48 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down six ticks, trading 103.31, 109.31. 30 year off two at 120.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 341 ticks, trading out at 103.183. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of TFNN, folks, this afternoon, four to five, we have our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad. He's going to be doing a Japanese candle pattern, stock and option strategy, one hour webinar for you. And I got my man, Teddy Kegstad, right here to tell you what it's all about. What's happening, Teddy? Tom, how are you this afternoon? Good to be with you. It's great to be with you, too, man. No doubt. You know, we all got a hot summer out here. It's going to be a nice four to five candlestick charting. So tell us what we're going to be teaching out here, Teddy. Well, we're going to be taking some very common uh, Japanese candlestick patterns that have a, usually a very high probable success rate, and we're going to show you how to implement them. We're going to show you how you figure out your risk levels, your entry levels, your target pricing, uh, what strategies to use. Uh, they'll be for both stock and option traders, whether you're already long in a position or if you're thinking about looking at a certain stock um, or even just looking for opportunities. And that's what we're going to be covering during this webinar, where we're going to literally detail current situations in the marketplace where these patterns are have already surfaced and exactly how you would implement different strategies pretty cool it's amazing teddy like how old candlestick charting is huh it is it's been around for over 300 years most people don't even know that 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 is amazing I, folks it started it was a race farmers right the race farmers from uh, it did very yeah. good absolutely yeah. it started in japan in the rice markets absolutely right. pretty amazing man and you know it, it what is so cool about the candlestick patents, folks, okay, uh, it, the, the patent itself, is that once you get the patent, what I really dig, Teddy, is that then you can, you can use bar charts, but you know what the candlestick patent is anyway, once you get used to them, you know, doing it two or Correct. three years, you know what I mean, which is pretty cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're very functional, you know. And the thing is that, you know, most people, there's people who absolutely say they're worthless. And now most people, when I do talk to them, they're applying them completely incorrectly. And we're going to go over the myths about, the, you know, what are definitely the failing points and how not to use it. And uh, where you should, when you do use them properly, how really powerful they actually are as a tool. Yeah, you got to love it. And, of course, you've been using these for a long period of time. So it's always cool yeah. when they get the repetition, isn't it? 
Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what? They work for stock traders, options traders, futures traders. They work in all markets. So that's the wonderful thing about them. This this webinar that we're covering is going to – any stock trader that also trades options, if they play, trade in other markets as well, you'll be able to use these as a tool for all of the markets. Nice. And, folks, it's very easy to come into the webinar. They come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on featured content. The webinar is going to start at – four o'clock four to five it's only ninety five dollars it's going to be one of the best ninety five dollars you spent you can go over it over and over again and as teddy said you know there's many candlestick charting uh patterns folks okay you know but what does happen is that when you trade as much as teddy trades it it makes a difference because you've seen so many different patterns lay out and you get to understand the patent structure better. Would that, that be a correct assessment, Teddy? Absolutely, Tom. You're 100% yeah. correct about that, yeah. for sure. I know. I and mean, it's pretty cool because sometimes I, I look at it and say, you know, technically I can teach quite a bit. And it a lot of it has to do with how many times you've seen the patent over and over again. I mean, it's like, okay, right. you know, this, this is your probability goes a lot higher, either this way or that way. So it's really cool. Well, listen, man, we really look forward to it. And, um, you know, 45 minutes, folks. So come over to our website at TFNN. It's really easy. Just hit that banner. You're going to be in one of our special rooms and you're going to be off to the races. Well, you absolutely. Hey, hey listen, um, Chicago, it's hot like the rest of the city, the country, right? <laughs> is it? Uh, it? It is. It has been. Actually, we've had a break in the weather the last couple of days, and today it's been actually storming all day long. It's literally been raining since this morning. Has it? So, okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of dark out right now. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love think it. it's in the Well, evening. it's going to be a dark cloud cover. I like it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and we're going to be covering dark cloud cover today uh, as well. That's a beautiful thing. Listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. I look for the uh, candlestick charting uh, pattern uh, workshop at 4 o'clock. Thanks, Teddy. Okay, have a great one. Have a safe one, Teddy. The, uh, so just coming to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see it right in that front page. And as I said, when we were, we were talking about this, it's important to understand, you know, there's a lot of different patterns. There's, and there are, there are definitely some that are a lot more powerful than others. And Teddy's going to be going through that uh, and in the context of uh, what type of strategies that you can set up inside the equity markets, inside the currency markets, inside the uh, strat the option markets and I know we have a huge amount of option traders out there when we take a look at this market out here folks uh, bottom line is that you, we got to go to the dollar first okay because this dollar is something else man um, you know and you've had currencies falling apart across the country across the world out here to the, today also uh, Argentina that's uh, <laughs> that thing is blowing up you had Russia the ruble you know basically got blown away by 10 percent you know and actually the ruble in Russia you go back a year and a half ago, and $100 a year and a half ago is worth 50 bucks today. So this dollar, this dollar, man, it looks to me, you know, it's got an ABC structure on the way up. It looks like we're going to, you know, we're coming into one swing of that 103,572. But you can see this bar out here today, man. I mean, they've, they've had three good bars right in a row. So it looks to me the next level up there is going to be the 104,699. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down 52. NASDAQ's up 101. S&P's up 13 and a half. We'll come right back. Tigers. Candlestick pattern analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstat will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 57. Nasdaq's up 100. S&P's are up 13 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, is a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, the top row. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go over. You get it. Steve has a huge amount of archives, all the tools that he has right there. You'll be able to understand what he, how he looks at the market, the tools. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, guess what? It's a 30 day money back guarantee. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, Japanese candlesticking, right? It is it uh, understanding those patterns is so important. So I encourage everybody to uh, sign up and attend that four o'clock workshop for sure. Yes. It, it definitely, you know, it improved my trading. Uh, absolutely. And it'll, it, it'll improve everybody's trade now. And there, you so. definitely know Japan upside down, which is even better. <laughs> Isn't that wild? I know. I know. Yeah, it, it is great. And, you know, my wife is taking me uh, back to Japan I for heard. my vacation this year. Uh, congratulations. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So it's going to be cool. We'll celebrate my birthday over there. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is we're going to go visit. We decided to go visit Hiroshima. Okay. So cool. it'll kind of be, a, a, you know, we I, we went to see the Oppenheimer movie. Yes. So that was kind of good just to, I didn't really have as much detail about the Manhattan Project, you know, as was at least shared in that in that movie. So it's really a pretty cool movie, but I wasn't expecting a three hour movie. Yeah. So, you know, but but it was great. And it'll be nice to, to kind of just go back there and reflect based on all the travel that I've done, oh, yeah. you know, just in the last few months. So, so that'll be pretty cool. Cool. So I definitely recommend that people, uh, you know, attend uh, Teddy's workshops. Um, as you were talking about the market, really interesting time that we're at, especially right now today. And uh, what I have up on our screen for us to talk about is is really gold and, and uh, U.S. dollar and a couple of other things. But here, if we take this is a daily chart for the gold futures contract. And as you mentioned, there's a number of different tools and uh, that I use out here. And one of those tools is the TD9 count. 
Okay. And what I've got displayed here, I've got the, I just put up the continuous contract for gold so that I could go back far enough. And this takes us back into November of 2021, just to take a look at all of the TD9 signals that are present. Now, you'll see some other TD9 count tops out here or bottoms, uh, Tom, but those are not valid patterns. So I've identified each of the valid patterns that follow the rules that I follow here. And uh, so what we can see is nine of the last 13 or 69% of these TD9 counts, whether they're tops or bottom generated, what I'll call successful signal. If it was a top, it was a top. We saw, you know, a, a decent retracement. The interesting thing is, if we get, if we don't take a look at the tops, we just look at the bottoms, which is really what you and I are talking about today. Yes. Uh, what we have is seven out of seven. So seven of the last TD9, valid TD9 count bottom patterns have resulted in a market rally. So we're at that stage. This is going to be the first failure out of seven as possible. But what I can share with folks is since November of 2021, each TD9, valid TD9 count bottom that is formed has worked. So this is signaling to me that we should see a rally in gold. Now, if the, if, as you pointed out, if gold is going to rally, well, in the face of the U.S. dollar that is trading above profile resistance and doesn't have a topping pattern, well, this chart here, Tom, is a correlation chart. And this shows us the correlation between gold and the U.S. dollar. And this is a correlation over a three-day time period. So what this chart shows at the very bottom panel, when the uh, bars are below zero, it tells us that there's an inverse relationship, what, what you would expect out there. And when the bars are above zero, it tells us about a direct relationship, that they're both moving in the same direction on average over a three-day period of time. Now, before people get too hung up into dollar higher, gold lower out there, what we really have to realize is if we go back and we take a look at a longer-term chart, this is a quarterly chart, just so I could get enough data out here for people to take a look at. Gold definitely bottomed 2008. And I've marked out there that yellow line on the top portion of the uh, continuous contract for gold. That's that, that matches right up with the dollar bottom. So we do have gold that is traded higher in the face of the US dollar index trading higher as well. But that correlation right now that is in place right here, this says that, geez, if, the, uh, if, if gold is gonna bottom, then we really should see the dollar form some type of top. Well, I mentioned that on the daily time frame that uh, gold was in a breakout mode. Now, there's different A to B equals CD patterns that are out here. I've shown the most conservative A to B equals CD, which shows that we're already at the 1 to 1.272 expansion level. That's the upper left-hand chart. If we take a look at the weekly chart on the upper right-hand panel, what we're going to see is that prices run into both trend line resistance and uh, the top of its weekly profile. Now, this is what's referred to, Tom, as a bearish structured weekly profile. And that says from the U.S. dollar index that uh, where sellers are lined up is between 102.54 and 103.49. So what I would say is that if gold, if not gold, if the U.S. dollar index closed above the 103.49 level, then that A to B equals CD pattern on a daily time frame that extends itself. The only other resistance levels at 103.62. So we got 103.49 and 103.62. And 103.62 is the center of that monthly uh, a set of profiles on the lower left. So I guess what I would what I would say here, the last piece that I would say about the U.S. dollar index is it's trading into a real significant resistance zone. And so not until I see a weekly close above 103.49 and that this helps me better understand the likelihood that uh, the eighth TD nine count bottom for gold will actually take effect out there. Now, when an instrument bottoms uh, on a larger time frame. What I like to look for is smaller time frames that will go ahead and confirm what it is that we're looking at. What I mean by that is here is the daily chart for a gold. Now, this was snapshotted maybe about an hour ago or so. And here I take a look at a five hour chart, a four hour chart, a two hour, one hour, 30 minute, 15 and all the way down to the 10 minute time frame chart. So as of an hour ago, the two hour and the uh, four hour charts had confirmed Rogeman to indicator bottoms. On the five hour chart, all that needs is a bullish reversal candle, bullish engulfing candle, bullish reversal candle at, at the end of the session out there. So that may or may not come to fruition. But we can also see that the 30 and the 60 minute charts have confirmed by the D point pattern. So on the 60 minute chart, or the 30 minute chart, I should say, I've drawn in the A to B equals CD to the downside. Well, if you take a look at the 60 minute chart for the daily, it's got that same pattern in there. And there's your bullish reversal candle, piercing candle, that I'm sure that Teddy's going to talk about this evening. 
And on the 15-minute time frame, we had a nice TD9 count and Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So what we're seeing here in gold is we are seeing what I'm looking for, which are the smaller time frames identifying bottom patterns. But that's just one element of it. Another element is the key resistance because it doesn't prove itself until price can take out resistance. Now, this is the 30-minute time frame chart for gold. This shows the green horizontal lines and the TD9 count breakdown resistance levels. What we can see is gold has not taken any of those levels out. In fact, 1950. 360 is the number to be paying attention to because we can see that gold rallied up into that level it uh, it was not able to overtake that and so if gold is really going to identify a bottom tom we need to at least see a close above 1953 60 out there silver is also going to form a daily td9 count bottom and the number to be watching here is 2206 and lastly, uh, Mastery Probability subscribers, they receive this market analyzer, or market analyzer is similar to this. And what it does is it helps to identify what's going on with regard to either the Rhodes Mintum indicator, tops or bottom, and the daily TD9 counts. So I'll just leave folks with this, and that's that the SPIs, the Qs, the XLK, and Tesla each have bottoming patterns. Which would go along with if, if the dollar fails, this market wants to go, man. Yeah, right, interesting. So like we'll see it. if that resistance area and that weekly chart, if that holds. And folks, very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 57. The Nasdaq's up 100. S&Ps are 
uh, up 13. And if we uh, do go into the notes, uh, let's go into, I want to uh, get, look at this 10 year again because TY1, let me see this generic one. Because this thing looks to me like we're going to bust it. TY, well, we already did bust it, but generic TY. There we go. Because the 10-year today, folks, is 4.18. The high for the year is 4.243. You can see the last time we were down here, the 10-year saved itself at 109.24. Well, we hit 109.24, and you're at 109.31, and, and this doesn't look like it wants to turn right here. So if we pull this back and take a look at this, this is telling me that this is going to get pretty intense, actually. Well, it's not that bad, I guess. No, well, one, 109.26. No, 108.26 is the next low. So that's game. That's on, let's see, so that had the monthly. That's about a year ago. Now we want to see, like, okay, if we break that, what do we do? My God. I couldn't believe how far I got to go back on this one. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm going to bring this back 30 years right now. Okay. So. Yep, I see what's happening here, man. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous where we are. So this thing could get down into the 104 area. You know, you don't, you don't have a lot of support right here. That's the bottom line. You get down to that 104 area, and that interest, that 10 year is going to be 5%. So that is one monster number. There's no doubt about that. And the 30, let's just look at this for a second. So the scale out here today, the two year is two, is, so check this out. The two year is 4.9. The five year is 4.3, the 10 is 4.1, and the 30 is 4.2. No matter which way you go with that, you're talking about some heavy interest rates. Inside the NDX 100, the strength today, uh, you got NVIDIA up six and a third percent, Micron up 6.2, Marvell up 4.4, Dexcom up uh, 3.8. That's interesting. So it's all the chip stock. So let's go to the NVIDIA, the leader, and see how they're doing a counter trend bounce here. Well, it's not a counter trend bounce. Look at that NVIDIA. Oh, my God. There's no, there's no volume in the market, but there's volume in NVIDIA. Unreal. Yep. Let's look at MU. Same deal. So let's, I'm not quite sure what happened in the chip. Yeah, I mean, they're buying, they're buying the period. Yeah, they're buying the chips hand, hand over fist. That, that might be the only thing they're buying, but they're buying it hand over fist. Taking the NDX uh, lower is that you got uh, Illumina down 3.2%, Mercado Libre off 2, Tesla's off one point. Seven and Moderna is off 1.5. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. Point wise, here you have uh, Salesforce putting 17 positive points, Visa 15, Microsoft 10, taken away from it, Goldman minus 27, Amgen uh, minus 16, nothing heavy. Let's go to the bank stocks. We'll start with JP Morgan. Take a look at JP Morgan. See how this baby's setting up. So, now it's going up with light volume. That's not telling us uh, that it wants to go higher. You got Bank of America. Bank of America wants lower price. That's actually trading sideways. It's probably going to go after this gap at the uh, 29.55 area. Let's go to the oil market and take a look at oil. So, oil traded to 83.09 today.
Me that volume. Where are you? There we go. So you rolled Yeah, this is pulling back and looks like a rejected lower price with light volume. You know, yeah, you, you did two two hundred and fifty nine thousand contracts, but that's going into huge contract volume, so that's not done going down yet. And if we go to the XLE and we take a look at the XLE, that's going to need a lot of more volume, but it's hanging in there for sure. This will be like a, you know, if this can break its top, you know, you can see, I'll put it on a, on a weekly, you got one, two, three, tops that the first top goes all the way back to January of 2022 on the monthly the volume at the highs is 6.5 last month we did 375 million no five, five I'm sorry the, the monthly five 520 million we did 375, so it's gonna need more volume if in fact we're gonna get higher price coming into that. Tesla, let's go over to Tesla and take a look at uh, what Tesla's up to. Okay, so it went past the gap, the gap's 235.22. Let's see this. No, you know, 238. Okay, it's not by the cap yet. See, that's intriguing. When you do it like that, it looks like it already is. Oh, I see. It went down to 233 and rejected it. Okay. So if Tesla can basically get something going, this is what it did. It went down, filled one of its gaps, and you'll see if it can get any juice going. You know, the next time Tesla comes out with numbers is going to be October 19th. And then if we go take a look at uh, Meta, this is the setup, right? <laughs> Meta's going up on light volume. You got Google. Oh, no, let's go to Amazon. But before we know it, we're going to be start talking about orders for Christmas at Amazon. Amazon's up a buck thirty-eight. That a gap tire doesn't look like it's going to go fill that gap just yet. Dow Dow Industrials right now trading down fifty-three. Nasdaq's up one hundred nine. S and P's up fourteen. Don't forget, folks. Our man Teddy Cakestack. He's going to be doing a nice candlestick charting workshop. It's only ninety-five dollars, and it's going to be archived. Be on your page for as long as you want. You can do it over and over and over again. Just come over to our website at TFNN. It starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you're not there, it's no big deal. It's going to be on your page. You can go over as many times as you want. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 33. NASDAQ is up 114. S&P is up 16 and a half. And let's go take a look at the TLT. This is pretty wild. So look at, listen to this. More than um, the largest exodus of the TLT since 2020 took place last week. 1.8 billion came out of the 39 billion uh, uh, iShares. The fund's price had dropped more than 3% the week prior and another 1.2 here. So you have a high volume low here. Let's pull this back. So the TLT is the 20 year plus, folks. Yeah, it's going to go test that. real question is, the way this thing is setting up, man, the way this whole thing is setting up, meaning it, it looks to me like, you know, these, these rates are not done yet. That's, that's how it seems to be setting up. And that's going to be saying that the inflation is stickier than they're saying it is, which I think it is. It, it, not think. It, to me, it is, period. You know what I mean? It's like if they really want to get down to 2%, man, you got a lot of work to get down to 2%. Huge amount of work. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, and it's going to be a low volume day because you remember something. We're still in summer. You know, yeah, the folks in Florida have gone back to school, but the bottom line is that most of the country goes back uh, Labor Day. So we have uh, AMC, that's getting smoked. That's down a buck seventy out here. U.S. Steel, yeah, U.S. Steel um, is up. Uh, Eight dollars sixty cents. You know what's amazing here? Let's go to U.S. Steel for a second because this always blows my mind. Actually, when you when you take a look at prices, right? So U.S. Steel, the low seventeen eighty eight. The high is today thirty two fifty two. We're trading at thirty one thirty two. And what this is about is that Cleveland Cliffs is coming after them. And I think the thing that's amazing is that when you looked at both of these stocks years ago, there was nothing there. But what blows my mind is this. This is what's always wild, right? So when you take a look at it, well, you know, you, can, you have to only go back to February. Yeah, February. And the stock was there anyway. So it's like, it's so wild that, you know, you can get a company, try to take another company over, you know, and 
okay, so you get the whole company, and that was only last February. If you, if you go back, you know, two years, I know, a year and a half to April, it was at $39. You know, so it's pretty amazing. And the, the reason they want it, folks, is that they, it has to do with the aspect of the type of furnaces that U.S. Steel has been putting in since they got that new CEO, and he's been there about five years now. And what that, those furnaces are all about is that they put in scrap to get out iron, and they're much more efficient. And, you know, the, it, has, it has changed the trajectory of U.S. Steel. Uh, you know, and Cleveland Cliffs has been rolling up steel companies. The thing that's going to be amazing is that if, in fact, Cleveland Cliffs does get U.S. Steel, they will own 100% of the U.S. production, no, the U.S. iron ore, yes, the U.S. iron ore, because that's, that, you know, there's plenty of iron ore, but, you know, but the bottom line, in the U.S., there isn't, but between that, there is, so that's going to be really interesting to see what the regulators have to say about it, you know, so it's, it's, it's pretty wild, there's no doubt. Let's take a look at some of the other higher volume equities out here. You have Johnson & Johnson, that's down 67. You get Cleveland Cliffs. See, the market loves it. Cleveland Cliffs is up $1.32. Let's, let's pull that one up. CLF. Yeah, the market's digging that because you can imagine the pricing power, right? And CLF has a disgusting chart compared to U.S. Steel. <laughs> so we'll see whether it's going to take place, but... It's, that that chart is day and night. I suspect what's going to happen. They're going to be fighting them tooth and nail, because when you do get the takeover, you get, you know, oh here's one. Hey, look at this. This is such a bummer. What's happening in Lahaina, and Maui, but you get Hawaii Electric got cut in half out here today, folks. And you can see it had volume on Friday, on Thursday and Friday when these fires started, and you know, there's just speculation out there right now, but. The bottom line is that you have the heat, you know, and there's going to there's gonna be a lot more than just, you know, their cable boxes. Bottom line, you know, if that's the case. But you can see that the equity itself, this is like, you talk about getting toasted. <sighs> My God. Look at that bar. Yeah. Because what they have in Lahaina... Also, is that yeah, they had fire um, hydrants that weren't working. They had a lot of problems. And if you've ever been to Lahaina, it's a one beautiful little town. You know, I used to hang there for quite a bit of time in the 80s, from about five years, because I was doing a huge amount of business in Honolulu. And as soon as I finished the business, I'd go to Lahaina. You know, because it's literally, it's an old town, it's right in the water. I'm sure it got built up over the years. That's, I'm talking 50 years ago, 40 years ago. But, you know, it still had the deal. And you could go offshore and catch mahi-mahi like wild. And you know how crazy this is? Listen to this. That was then. I'm sure, I don't know. I'm not sure if they're gone or not. But the way that you would, the fishing boats would go after mahi-mahi, they would still be going after the um, cargo nets. So if you saw a cargo net, you were, um, your, your probability of getting mahi-mahi went up so dramatically, it was unbelievable. And those cargo nets, folks, were still from World War II. How's that? You know, you'd be out, you'd only have to go out like a mile, you got, saw a cargo net, boom, you put those rods out, man. You know, so, and then as soon as you bring them in, you know, it's a, it was a fishing village. That's, I mean, when I was there, it was a fishing village. I'm sure it's got a lot bigger, you know. Uh, Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple out here. So Apple can't get anywhere. This will be interesting. You know, Apple, bottom line, is trying to get higher today, but you can see that contraction of volume. Contraction of volume is 33 million. You're coming into 97 million, which is just a monster. That is just one monster number. And then if we go to look at the small caps... We take a look at those small caps out here. Well, they rejected lower price. They got, they got down to 188.64. The gap was one in, 
9008. Now, see, that one would operate correctly versus, let's go look at the SPY for a second, because the SPY is trying to get higher with lighter volume versus, uh, see, the contraction here in the SPY is insane. <laughs> 38 million going into 93 million. Now, granted, you know, Mondays and Fridays, you get light volume in the summer, there's no doubt. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow right now uh, down 20. Nasdaq's up uh, 117. S&P's up 17 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to our man Steve Woods in Maryland. Steve, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How Thank you been? Steve Woods of Float Analysis. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. I, I, I know you upside down totally, man. I have been. I know you do, Tom. I remember when we used to do workshops together, and I remember having that first hour. So here's the thing, Tom. I've been working with float analysis. Um, you know, it was at its peak was 20 years ago, right? And then once, when that recession came back in 2003 or something, everything went sour, right? Because... All the money that I'd made in the dot-com bubble just exploded to the downside. And, uh, you know, and I, 
And then the guys that were doing my flow charts, that was a mistake, right? Because there's float analysis is so nuanced. Anyway, here's 20 years later, and all of a sudden I discover that the software that I've been using for several years, that I can make a flow chart right on it. Nice. And I got all the data. And so, and so here's the stock, NVIDIA. Let me tell you what happened to it. You know, it broke out, right, to the upside when it announced that huge amount of money that it was going to make yes. right, back on May 25th. Right. Well, hardly anybody's been selling it since then because as of today, the float turnover, which is a hypothetical change in ownership, has, goes right back. The, the turnover goes right back to that day. And the price this morning, when it hit the, when it dropped out at the open, it, it hit the, the midpoint, which is a support line. Okay. And so I jumped on that baby and it just turned right around and went up. So you analyze, and you know, Tom, I use, I learned so much from you years ago, working, doing those workshops with you, but particularly the volume in the background. That is so powerful when you can find that volume in the background. So well, I'm listen, man, it's a pleasure hearing from you, Steve. Give us give us a buzz again, Steve, man. Okay, cool? Oh, okay, great. It, it's just the end of the show. Sorry, man. Always That's remember, right. folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Kicks us off.